So, this is a character I have spoke fairly poor about. Um, I've said that there wasn't really a place for her in the game right now based on like what her MP actually was. Um, defense up and a buster up. There's not really many opportunities for a servant like Europa to really be shining. But at the time, she also didn't have many self buffs. She did have a 30 buster buff, but that was pretty much it for her entire kit. Um, and like she got buster up on the MP, but that wasn't ramp up. So she wasn't really someone that could really take advantage of double bitch in like most farming. She just got buffed and now not only does she work better in bitch, like she has her own uh, steroids she can buff. She also works fairly well in uh, multi-core specifically uh charm multi-core so you're using her with uh comma like either version of comma although i definitely would say single target i don't see the reason you would need europa and avenger comma but i mean there could be a node for it in the future i don't know um yeah so let's get started talking Base attack actually not even it's not low it is like just above the midpoint uh 11.7k the midpoint's about uh 11.5k so i honestly thought her h uh attack was a lot lower than it actually was so my bad on that uh hp this is actually really low hp for a five star like this is close to berserker levels i'm actually surprised it's this low right yeah like i i have seen four stars with more hp than this mm, I, like she does have a lot of tankiness so like if you have defense up most of the time like does it matter if your hp is like fourteen thousand or twelve thousand? like if you're gonna take more damage less damage in general does it does that difference really matter probably not Star weight, star gen, these are normal rider numbers. MB charge is sitting at 0.58%, almost six. Uh, she is a rider. She can be expected to crit on arts cards. Most of the time, it's going to be the buster cards. Um, but yeah, we will see. Mm, yeah, hit counts, one hit busters. They're not going to be genning any stars, but she's a rider too, so... Star gen was never really her thing. Quick card, three hits. It's it's not a good quick card. Uh, and five hit extra attack. This is going to be okay. It's not going to be super amazing. Her attack isn't like standing out in the 13,000s. It's the MP charge. It's above average at 0.6, essentially. Star gen, don't expect this to make any stars. It's going to make some, but don't expect to get a full uh, 30 stars off this star gem. Not, not through her work. It will be through Vich. So, first skill. Three attacks of invul. There is no duration for this. This is just straight up three hits of invincibility and 100% debuff resistance for three times. There is no cooldown for this skill. It is. She uses these when she needs them in a double bitch setup that actually works out really really well because you don't have to worry about like double stacking this there are no steroids you will you just pop this skill when you need it could they do something for it in the future i mean if she's focusing in charm i would really like it if they like this is called princess of purity so like i doubt they can do like something that involves like debuff success rate that would be really nice if she's supposed to be a charm support um or that are gonna make her be a charm support if they can make give her like aoe D, uh like e even if it's just charm res like i will take general debuff resistance down but if they put charm res on oh even better we're it's more like if they put charm runs down the, the number is going to be higher that, that's what i mean if it's debuff success rate it's going to be sitting at around 20 percent um or be, yeah debuff success rate 
uh, it would be around 20 percent if it was charm res down aoe it'd be closer to 30 to 40 percent it would like try to make it so this was guaranteed second skill is how she was even able to farm in the first place 30 percent arts 30 percent buster and a 30 percent battery this in combination with uh mana loading you need both of them maxed out otherwise europa cannot do her farming without you doing some weird shit with summer chloe or like i don't fucking know but basically this just lets you start off with more damage and i kind of do want to go into that just a little bit um whether or not you'd actually use cranking with her because there if with her third skill buff there is a case that you would run um a different CE that actually gave her a better chance to land her debuffs because yeah no we'll get we'll get we'll talk about it right now so this is what the skill used to be 60 percent aoe charm for all enemies uh and a one turn charm 20 percent defense down and crit attack chance down for three turns this is on a seven turn cooldown or was now we're gonna go to uh db skill cooldown got reduced by one everything else is the same but now she gets 30 percent earth attribute mod for the entire party and then charm mod for the entire party so if you didn't know how um power mods and mp damage works they count in the same part of the formula so 15 30 percent power mod is equal to 15 percent mp damage what if you're using oberon yeah, gotta really say that if you're using oberon so the reason this matters is that it makes you charming the enemy have as much of an impact on your damage as uh the mp damage of cranking buffed up by oberon so if you make it so your charm is easier to land much more consistent to land not it's gonna outpace what you can do with cranking because reason being is if they resist the charm no if they resist the defense down they're more likely resisting the charm thus your damage is just going to be lower in general i believe that uh the damage on this list assumes you do land the charm i'm actually not too sure about that this is not including uh charm or effective damage this is what it, our damage was before but i'm assuming that this is including the 20 percent defense down in her damage in which case her damage looks worse at this point it, like it actually does look worse if this is not if this is with the defense down um so we'll do the calcs later but in my opinion if you have the 50 percent starting ce that also gives you um debuff resist down or debuff success rate up i would recommend running that on her just so this is more consistent because if this is if this charm up uh, if this charm is more consistent through debuff success rate this is more consistent and this is more consistent earth attribute is also really nice because a lot of enemies have it like a lot of them uh, there are a bunch of casters though that have sky attributes so probably not helping all the time but hey i'm not gonna say no to a free power mod and we could see this in real time for how this affects her damage because this is their mp damage without any mods yeah not th this was not good damage um all this was with 30 percent well no technically it was a 50 but yeah so when fighting earth attribute jumps up a lot this is in line with some of the higher tier uh hang on this is showing single targets too 
Yeah, when she's hitting niche, she is much closer in damage to a Skender, who is like top of the meta without having a niche. Europa with uh, just Earth attribute does more damage. And this has to do like, why is she like doing so much more damage uh, with Earth attribute versus charm when they're the same value for the power mod? This has to do with the triangle. Sky attribute does more damage to Earth attribute. So this is like another little thing that is good that she has Earth attribute as a sky attribute servant. Um, yeah, because like they're both 30% mods. So why would this one be at 30 and this one be at 34? That That's the reason. There's hidden triangles. There's more to damage than just other like the calcs that you see us do like um, in Laplace. Like even if you see us do the buffs, like if there there's more to it um yeah so you not farming is another 30 percent like a big decent jump in damage of like seven thousand. you're almost do you're doing close to double damage with the double power that that's the key takeaway you're doing almost double damage if you're getting both of the niches from what she was at before so awesome buff did not need an MP buff yet. Um, I would really like it if she had someone, something to like help her with her debuffs besides choosing a different C. All right, let's keep going. Magic with this uh, C, 15% debuff resistance, riding A plus 11% quick. Um, I would just like to point out that she is a rider with riding A plus. There is actually a servant that could tear, like actually tear her to shreds. And that is Britomart. In uh, like more mixed nodes. Cause Britomart gets a power mod against riding and she also gets super effective against riding, riders uh, as a Lancer. So just be aware when you're using Britomart, uh this is this is who you're supposed to be fighting this is who our mp is like meant to be hitting all right so moving on to appends the two most important are append two and append five now append five is special because of how it's working uh, with this skill cooldown uh, reduction down to six, if you have this unlocked, you are able to pop the defense down on turns two and three instead of one and three. So the turns that have higher health enemies, you can act, you can get like a charm down and a defense down, and still have it for the next uh, for the boss phase little like extra buff that goes with this being from going from seven to six i like i really like that utility because i do think that was a big weakness for her like if she was landing the charm uh like if it wasn't maxed out you weren't repopping it number one uh number two like waves two and three are usually where you run into issues especially and especially in multi-core uh if Kama is able to stand on her own. Uh, yeah, this just works even better. All right, I've already gone over this. MP gives her 50% defense for one turn and gives her a 20 buster buff for one turn. So that's why she has, she actually does have a 50% buster buff. Uh, yeah. Mats, they're not terrible. And since we just literally just got double the pure prisms, like feel like I kind of feel you should be able, you shouldn't feel bad about using pure prisms for Ascension because Ascension is tied to like a bunch of rewards. It like you, you'll get rare prisms, lures, um, bows, like all that stuff by maxing out your ascension. So if you want to use your pure prisms for that, go for it. 
these like she's not requiring that many mats but there are a lot of gold luckily these are gold mats that i want to say you have in somewhat excess this probably not but it's only five these i most of the time have too many and yeah like she doesn't have like super crazy mount requirements that are like you need to have like 48 or 72 of one silver mat like it's a decent amount for a good like mats that aren't used by like literally every servant common shards to that yes but in general like she doesn't overlap with that many even in a pens she only needs six hearts which fucking john needs 20 per skill i'm not gonna complain about six for an append and bonsi hearts up 10 percent buster up 10 percent is she a servant you should be summoning for nope uh is she good to use if you got spooked she is significantly better i definitely see the multi-core usage of her like more than her as a farmer but i'll do the before i close out this video i'll do the calcs uh for europa when she charms when she's fighting earth uh when both happens and before that i'll show you what c i've been talking about okay so this is the ce i was talking about charm of love so it's a 50 percent starting ce it gives you two stages of overcharge uh for the first time you mp and then you get debuff success rate of 15 percent now 50 percent is like pretty decent like this li like 15 percent literally is uh europa's man or magic resist so this takes uh her 100 percent chance of landing the defense down from 100 to 15 115 and then you subtract the magic resist of whoever you're fighting so as long as someone doesn't have a uh, crazy magic resist like 20 percent plus your defense down should be landing consistently now also you have a little bit higher turn one damage but i don't i don't think anyone's caring about that um yeah so it's up to you if you even have the ce maxed out because it needs to be mob for the 50 star if you're sitting at uh like lower cop ooh, hiccups aren't real they're just not real that's what charlie said oh my god it actually works it actually fucking works chat if you don't have this mob don't worry um just use cranking it's not like I'm talking about like making something more consistent not like actually upping your damage like using this is not going to increase your damage it's going to make your consistency better um if if you still don't land the charm or you still don't land the defense down now you just now you're actually doing just less damage all right uh so i'm gonna go into laplace and show off this buff all right so know what i'm gonna be using for this fairly simple Europa easily can do a node like this. It's, this isn't going to be difficult. All of these are Earth Attribute, Caster, and Final Bosses, all, all of them are Earth Attribute. Hopefully, I will be able to show like the Charm Chance and damage with that. Um, she don't, haven't tried forcing uh, debuffs to work when I use this, but I'll do it just for the purposes of this video. All right, yeah, at the end. All right. So as you can see here, she's doing about 207,000 damage uh, against Earth Attribute, which is a pretty sizable jump. Yeah, it is like pretty much almost 50% more damage than what she was doing before. Um, unfortunately, in this calc, I wasn't able to land the charm. So in this next uh, demonstration, I'm just going to show with uh, her not running cranking and her running the debuff success rate C. All right. And finally, uh, this is what her damage looks like without farm and without uh, cranking. 
I did my absolute best to try to get this to show a charm. Didn't happen. So this is her damage without being able to charm. So it's closer to 180,000 when uh, neutral, when she's not fighting, uh, when she's not fighting a charmed enemy. So that 180,000, it it's closer in line. I mean, hey, she's not being beat by Columbus anymore. <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, like it's on par with Takeda, but Takeda also can use Black Rail. Like him starting from 50 isn't his best damage. So this buff puts her in line, but it's not going to fix the overlying issue that it she just doesn't do that much damage. But that is more a case of like AoE Buster Riders than Europa specifically. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, time to start streaming. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.